This video demonstrates how to install WordPress on Ubuntu. To get started, we'll download WordPress. Go to wordpress.org and click download. And we'll save that file. We'll use that in a minute. Next, we're going to start the terminal application. And we're going to use this to install the LAMP stack. Now, LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. We've got Ubuntu, so we've got the Linux part. Next, we need Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So, as a general guide, we can use apt, cache, and search. And let's just search for Apache. And you can see several items come up. I'll just pipe this to less. And as we can see at the top here, Apache 2 uh, is the Apache HTTP server. So that's the piece of software that we want to install. Let's see uh, what the package is for MySQL server. And we see MySQL dash server, okay. And PHP 5. And also I know WordPress requires the GD module, so we'll install that. Now we install software with apt get install. And this requires root privileges, so we'll use the sudo command to give us those root privileges. We can install each piece of software one by one. For instance, we can install Apache with Apache 2 and hit enter, or we can install multiple pieces of software by supplying those on the command line. And we'll do that here, PHP 5, PH5, GD. And then we'll say yes to download the software. We'll let that download and install. And we'll give the root user a password. Okay, our software has been installed. Let's create a database for WordPress to use. We'll use the root account in MySQL with the password that we created on installation. And let's create a database. Create database. Um, let's just call it WordPress. Let's create a user. And let's grant privileges to that database. And now let's flush the privileges. Okay, that should do it. Let's go to the downloads directory where we downloaded WordPress and let's extract the contents of that file. And we'll change into this directory.
and let's copy WP config sample to WP config dot PHP. And let's edit that file. Exclamation dollar sign says take the last item on the previous command line and substitute it. So we're going to edit wp-config.php. And our database name is WordPress. Um, the user we used was also WordPress. And the password, I do believe, was WPPAS. And that should be all we need to configure here. If you're not familiar with the VI editor, that's okay. You could use something like Nano. It's easier to use, a much simpler interface. I'll just hit exit there. Next, let's look where HTML files live, and that's right here. We don't need this file, we'll get rid of it. And since it's owned by root, I'm going to need root privileges. That's why I'm using sudo here. Let's see. Need to copy all those contents. Actually, an easier way to do this is just remove this directory and move WordPress to here. And then I'll just rename WordPress to HTML. And then this user is the user that runs the Apache process. So I'm just going to change the ownership of this directory to that user. Actually, let's do a recursive change here. Now you can see that the data is owned by www-data. Next, let's switch back to our web browser and perform the installation. Since this is running on localhost, we'll just use localhost as the address here. Looks like we need to install one more piece of software. And we'll use install PHP 5 MySQL. Let's see if that does it for us. Let's restart Apache for good measure here. And let's go back and try again. OK. I'm not going to use my real address. I'll just use uh, localhost.local domain and send any email to the uh, Ubuntu server that we're working on here. Okay, click login. And there you have it WordPress is installed.